If all the variables in a predicate are assigned a specific value for their domains, the predicate can become a proposition with a well-defined truth value. However, another way to do that is to use a quantifier. So we'll talk about two quantifiers in particular, the first being the universal. So the logical statement for all x, p of x, also read as for every x, p of x. So this statement asserts that p of x is true for every possible value for the x in its domain. And this symbol is called a universal quantifier. The statement for all x, p of x, is called a universally quantified statement. So this is saying it doesn't matter what values of x you stick in, it should always be true. For all x, p of x is a proposition because it's either true or false. It's true if and only if pn is true for every single n in the domain. A counterexample for a universally qualifying statement is an element in which the domain for the predicate is false. So a universally, quanti universally quantified statement says this has to be true no matter what value I stick in. So to prove a universally quantified statement is false, I need to find an example that makes it false. And a single counter example is all that you need to show a universally quantified statement is false. So for example, let's consider the statement for all x, x squared is greater than x, where the domain is the set of positive integers. If we consider x equal to 1, then we have x squared is equal to x. So the statement's not true, x squared is not greater than x. So x equal to 1 is a counterexample to show that this statement is false. This may be the only positive integer where this works. However, for a universally quantified statement, that's all you need is one exception. So for example, what's the truth value of for all x, p of x, where p of x is the statement x squared is less than 10, and the domain consists of the positive integers not exceeding 4? Well, this is false. 4 is in the domain, and 4 squared is not less than 10. We also have existential quantifiers. So this is re read as their existent x, such that p of x. And it asserts that it's true for at least one possible value, so it may not be true everywhere, but it happens at least once. This is called an existential quantifier and an existentially quantified statement. There exists an x p of x as a proposition because it's either true or false. It's true if and only if at least one n value exists that makes p of n true. For example, let's let q of x denote the statement x equal to x plus 1. We want to know the truth value of there exists an x such that q of x. Well, this is false. Subtracting x from both sides gives 0 equal to 1, which has no possible solution. If this had a single solution, we would have had it true. If it had more than one solution, it would have still been true. So we need at least one, which in this case we don't have. 